Okay, we are at Bushert's Antiques in El Paso, Illinois. And then I see down there they've got uh, antique hoarders. If I can get it in my shot, there it is, antique hoarders. So we're gonna give this place a whirl. things I like. So Ollie groan, groaned when we walked in. The place is so big. So we're just going to go look around a little bit. But they do have everything. I'll just film if I find something I like. Like the tumblers. So they want something like $30 for six of these tumblers. Once again, just a little more expensive than I can afford. Nothing left on the ground. But they have some wonderful things in here. Well, they've got it marked as Anchor Hawking Gay Fad, but I don't think that is the gay fad pattern because I collect it and that is not what it looks like unless this is some other form of it I'm not aware, but it is a very pretty set. I have sold this Hazel Atlas Green IV Mixing Bowl set. Um, like I told you the story about the little girl who was moving into her new apartment and had bought it for me. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Got some Hardy Boys. Some of my favorite books. Check out the Gilbert Party Puzzles. How cool is that? Neat booth. Well, they got a little bit of everything in here. It's a nice booth. I just sold a set of this with the picture. Not for that much money. <laughs> really wonderful. Lefton, I think it's Lefton. Looks like Lefton. Not marked, but it's a cute set. These are cute. These little tumblers. Interesting. Then you have some Narco here. Blue Mood. Or Indigo Blue. Goodness gracious, look at all of the furniture. Wow. Just about everything you could be asking for. Grandma? I'm a coming. Wow. They did mean it when they said cedar chests were up here. I have one like this at home. It's a lane. Very pretty. Oh, I like this. I like that very much. And I like this because, ah, it's a lane. Very pretty. You can't beat these old cedar chests. Okay, blow molds. 14 piece nativity set for $1,200. Then you got some bun buns here. You can't be wanting $40 for that thing. It's filthy and falling apart. I didn't say that out loud. That's been rigged, fixed, and Check out the Wicker Outdoor Lounge Set. Wow, that is something. Lovely Wicker Hamper. We had a white one when I was a kid. I'm thinking ours was from the 40s. Some smiley face mugs. 
lovely amber canisters there and some down here wow some frosted glass a nice little rose bowl there are some great little kitschy items in here i think that's mccoy but I think we are probably going to cut this short because I all of a sudden am not feeling well. Uh, a lot of uh, frizzy items. Some frosted satin glass. This is interesting. Not $38 interesting. The prices in these two malls are like really, I mean, just I can't afford it. Lovely. Lovely and coy. Wow. The old Hoosier cabinets are great. Look at that. Marvelous. That is the gay fad pattern. Right there. If I remember correctly. Okay, we've made it out of there, and unfortunately, we had to cut it short. Grandma is not feeling well. I haven't felt well in a while, guys, but that's neither here nor there. Anyway, it's just a little too much for me today. We will come back another weekend and maybe bring favorite niece and check out this other mall and finish checking out this one. They really did have a lot of things in them. The problem is, is there's just not anything left for a, a um, thrifter to make any money off of it. I fear collector fine and. Certainly they have lovely items and I'm not, you know, knocking anybody for making a living, but uh, it's too much for me today and uh, we're going to go find some lemonade and kind of kick back for a minute or two and see if we can't bring Grammy's blood sugar back up. Okay, so we left El Paso and drove back down to Peoria. I'm feeling a little better. Um, we're going to go into this bookstore that I've been coming to for 50 years and they've been here longer than that. It's called the Peoria Book Rack. It's a used bookstore. We're going to go in and spend a little Varspawn Dulix in there and see what we can't find for favorite grandson. There is the front door of the book rack, and we are going to head on in. Which one? Pokemon? Pokemon? Okay, so I do. Oh. This is your view as you come in. I mean, it's rack upon rack of fiction. At one point, they had a bunch of Star Wars books in here. Is what I had kind of wanted to pick up a few. And certainly, everything you can think of. Lots of Tom Clancy. Man section. Ooh, run. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Nothing against you, romance folks, but. Yeah, I'm way past that stuff this time in my life. Westerns and romance. And I know they have a bunch of children's books. So I'm looking for those. Mood rings. I must own one. <laughs> wow, this is great. They're little bags and wallets. I need a new wallet. There's the great Gatsby. Pretty cool. Stickers of all sorts. Harry Potter tins, pretty cool. Candies, yummy. The classics, Oscar Wilde. The House of Seven Gables, Washington Irving. One of my favorite authors. I love all the Harry Potter stuff. Big Harry Potter fan. That's super cute. They have candles, and they have pins, and they have sage, and oh my goodness, the things they don't have. I couldn't list. Wax melts, just cute little tchotchkes of all kinds. Look here. We got socks. Might have to get me some Harry Potter socks. Pretty cute. Okay. Little Harry Potter, uh, Egg figurines, cute. Shout out to my LGBTQ homies. They do have a section here, which I greatly appreciate. 